Welcome to the Murray Ellen Henderson Husky Chef Competition. Today we have some a very enthusiastic 7th graders who are going to show off their culinary skills today. The secret ingredient today is chickpeas. Now yesterday we did it and they were wonderful. It was very close in the contest. Now, what do these enthusiastic 7th graders get? They get a gourmet pizza party of their choice. They get to cook in the cafeteria with my staff and get their menu put on our menu. They get to have their recipe put on our school menu for all of Mary Ellen Henderson to taste the winning product. Now, they also get bragging rights and we also put their pictures on Twitter. We also put them on the school's website so all of Falls Church City knows who's the best for this quarter who's cooking. All right? So, we got the enthusiastic seventh graders out there. We're in the facts class here. My name is Richard Kane. I am the host and food service director for Falls Church City Public Schools. Can I get a husky howl from everybody out there? All right, we're standing here in the kitchen with the crumbling croutons. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. All right, I'm here with Chef Jasper Litton. Say that again? Jasper Litton. Okay, I'm just going to say Jasper. Right. Chef Jasper. Chef Jasper, can you tell us for the camera out there mm -hmm. what it is that your group is going to crush the competition with today? We are going to make chicken tenders with a side Caesar salad with chickpeas, croutons, and Caesar salad dressing. All right, well, sounds good. I wish your team the best. Uh, hopefully, you're thinking you're going to crush them, right? Oh, yeah. All right. We're here with the team name Superstars. And what's your name? Robin Levy. Robin Levy. What are you cooking for us today? Uh, curry chickpeas with spinach and pita bread on the side. What are you guys doing differently today? We decided to go a little Indian style with American. What's your team's name? Uh, we're the chickpea champions. Chickpea champions. And what are you guys making today? We are making a pasta with chickpeas and tomato sauce and a fried chickpea salad with lettuce, cucumbers, and a little bit of lemon. What we're doing at Special is frying the chickpeas in oil to make them crispy okay. and add texture to the dish. All right, Chef Jake, can you tell us what your team is going to be doing in the kitchen today? We're going to be cooking up a chickpea soup. Do you cook at home? Sometimes I cook like uh, pancakes or and like uh, Boy Scouts I cook breakfast sometimes. Okay, we're standing here in the facts room with a first time judge, Principal Todd. Now, this is Superman here in the school. What do you think about this program? <laughs> I think uh, Husky Chef is amazing. Um, I know the kids are excited about it and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they produce today. The kids are always very enthusiastic and excited, and especially when the principal is going to be tasting that food. Now, Judge Fogel, what do you do here? I am the librarian at Mary Ellen Henderson Middle School. Well, she hosts all the knowledge of the, of the school system. That's what libraries do. Yeah. So, but we're very excited. What do you think? It's smelling good in here. What do you think about your experience yesterday with the Husky Chef? Oh, I thought the food yesterday was amazing, and I loved the kids afterwards. Throughout the day, they came up to me and they said, so what did you really think? So what did you really think? And I thought, I was like, no, this is what I really thought. And they were, uh, it was great. The food was tasty, and the kids were really enthusiastic, so it was very fun. The secret ingredient today is chickpeas, right. and they are bringing their top game. I mean, they're bread and chicken tenders and frying them. I'm a southern boy, so anytime <laughs> I hear something being fried, my ears perk up, and so does my appetite. Mary Beth, the secret ingredient today is chickpeas. Do you like chickpeas? I do. I'm really excited about chickpeas. I was over at Giant the other day and ran into the kids as they were buying, so I had a little preview, and I've been looking forward to chickpeas. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll see you at the judges' chamber. Thank you. My team's name is Soup as Stars, and what we made today is curry chickpeas with spinach with a side of pita bread. Let's see what the judges have to say. We'll start out over here with Judge Tyrone. Uh, I think the presentation was amazing. Um, you guys did a really good job of tying together your your team name with the with the presentation. Um, I will say that I think your um, whenever you use you know spinach, um, you have to be very careful to make sure that the leaf is not too moist, too droopy, um, and so that would be the only the only 
criticism that, that I would have, but otherwise it's a, it's a very good dish. This is awesome, delicious, such a good soup, so much flavor. All the different spices that you used are blended really well. The onions are cut so they're just the right size and the right softness. Hi. Um, I loved the spiciness of it. It wasn't too spicy, but it wasn't too bland either. It was a perfect combination for me because I'm not really a spicy eater. I also loved the star, and it's perfect because you can pull it apart, and you can dip it in and do it that way too. So I thought it was a great combination. Nice job, guys. The only criticism I have is I'd rather had that bowl instead of, <laughs> instead of, instead of this bowl. But it, it was, as the, as the other judges have said, it was... Uh, the, the ingredients were blended well. I, I like more spice, but that's fine. I can, you know, always drop in a little later. I like the presentation with the star. I thought that was cute. I like the spoon sitting in where the star came out of. That's kind of cool. And uh, again, good job. We're standing here with the group Captain Crunch, who's, oh, the spokesperson. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Um, Jake Leach. Okay, Chef Jake, can you tell the judges what it is that they're having today? Chickpea soup with... Uh, pita bread and dates. So, who's ready to speak? Judge John? I'll, I'll do. I'm not a fan of dates, so that's, the, that's, that's a knock from, from me just because, just a personal preference. The lemon juice to me is a little, a little strong, but other than that, the, the soup is good. I love onions, so that's, that's cool. The chickpeas are great. I wish there was a little more body to the soup rather than sort of like a broth, but other than that, it's good. I would agree with John. Um, the taste is good. There's a good blend, but it is pretty strong on the lemon. And I would like more, less broth and more um, heartiness to it. Uh, I love, I love dates, and I thought that was awesome. And I love the pita bread because again, you can dip it and then eat it that way too. So it was a gr great combination, but a little bit heartier on the soup. You just made up this recipe on your own. Did you have a? You had a little help. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. I've never had a soup like this before, and I like the combination. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're over here with Judge Tyrone. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to agree with the um, with some of the other judges. It is uh, really more of a broth than it is a soup. Um, I feel that as I as I stir, uh, I'm kind of surprised to find that there's something at the bottom, um, and and you know as as far as the visual. Um, the aesthetics of it, uh, I think I think that could be improved. There's, there seems to be a lot going on. We are the chickpea champions. Chickpea champions, and what is your name, Chef? Um, your name? Uh, I'm John Kelly. Okay, Chef John. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the judges. Can you tell the judges today what it is that they're having? They're having a pasta with tomato sauce and garbanzo beans as the main dish. They are having a salad with fried garbanzo beans, lemon, cucumbers, and lettuce. And in the little dish is lemon juice and a tiny bit of oregano. Sounds very tasty. Now, while they taste your dishes, I want to introduce each team member, uh, the chickpea champions. What is your name, young My lady? name is Addie Cope. Addie, Chef Addie. What's up? What's your name? My name is Marcus Ford. Marcus. Chef Marcus, we already got you. John Meeks. John Meeks. That sounds like a famous name in history. Is that a famous name in history? Do you know? Hmm, not in that I'm the yet. next greatest history, so that's... <laughs> you might be, like, foreshadowing here. Oh, okay. That's good. And hey, what's your name? Nina Rifkin. Okay. And your name? Hannah Whitlock. All right. Now, you guys all came up with this dish today? Yep. All right. A group effort. So, the judges, are you ready? <laughs> Someone's ready? Sure. Okay, we're going to go over here to Chef, I mean, uh, Judge Mary Beth. I like that you guys, yeah. <laughs> I like that you guys made two dishes, two interesting dishes that go nicely together. Uh, the veggies are nice and crunchy. Um, the salad dressing, just is it just lemon juice? It's lemon juice and oregano. Okay. It would have been good if there's like a tiny bit of olive oil in there to soften it because it's a little, it's a little you eat it and it kind of made me, pop, yeah, there you go. It's always good to temper those, those acidic things like vinegar and lemon juice with a little bit of olive oil. As a whole, I feel like, um, you know, the beans, you've you added them to the pasta, you add them to the salad, but it's almost like an afterthought. There wasn't a good integration of them. It's almost like you just sprinkled them on after the fact. They're not part of the dish. 
at our home, we cook the pasta and the tomato sauce, and they only meet each other when they get to the dish. And it looks like this was kind of cooked with the sauce at the same time, something like that. And I think that, that might, have, might have helped that a little bit. The, we've, we've killed the lemon juice thing, and then the, um, uh, the salad. Um, it's a salad, I, you know, and I appreciate uh, the salad. But I appreciate your work, and, and uh, uh, the, the one other thing I'll say too is I'm a, I have a, I'm a visual kind of guy too, and with a pasta, it's all one color, and I really like my food to have a, a mixture of color. The pasta, is it a whole wheat pasta? Yeah. Which I thought is a great addition too, because I'm always trying to add more whole wheat into my diet, so I love that factor of it. But um, the lemon juice needed something just a little bit more, because I felt like when I was with my kid, when he was one, I'd stick a lemon in his mouth and go, Ooh, like that. So it needed just a little bit of olive oil to it. Thank you very much. We are the Crumbly Croutons, and they will be tasting a breaded chicken tenderloin with a side Caesar salad with croutons and garbanzo beans with a creamy light Caesar dressing and a slice of French baguette with olive oil, rosemary, and thyme in the little serving cup to dip. And what was your name? Tucker. Chef Tucker. Very good. So what the judges are going to do, they're going to taste your dish. They're going to give you some feedback on what they think of your dish. All right? Um, I noticed today that you seem to be a, a ringer because you were just sautéing those breaded chicken tenders right away, and they smelled great. You do this at home? Yes. I, lo I love to cook. You love to cook. Yeah, it looks like you did a wonderful job. And, Chef, what's your name? Jasper. Chef Jasper. So, Chef Jasper, what do you think about your experience today in the kitchen? I think it was very fun, and it was a good learning experience. Oh, good. Do you cook at home? Yes, I do. And what do you cook at home? Usually, I like to cook desserts and pastries. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. Um, as they taste, let me introduce. We got Chef Jasper and Chef Tucker. What is your name? Uh, Chef Clara, I guess. Yeah. Chef Clara? Chef Hunter. Chef Hunter. And Chef Stephanie. Chef Stephanie. All right. So I started from the other side <laughs> today. So let me see. Are we on this side? Okay. Judge Fogel, what do you think? I love the presentation. I thought it was great. I love that there's a dipping oil for the bread. The, um, with, when you add the dipping oil for the bread, you didn't really need to toast the bread. You could have just brought out a slice of the baguette because there was a lot of oil then. I would have loved to have just dipped the soft bread instead of toasting it, but I, th I thought that was great. The chicken was done, which sometimes is hard to do, and it's not overcooked. It would have been, and I understand timing is really hard in all of this, it would have been nice if it came out a little bit warmer, um, but it was, it, it is tasty, and I love the breading. The creativity is not, is not, there it's 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 a chicken with a salad with chickpeas in it and salads always have chickpeas the uh, the bread again is soaked in oil and and I, I would rather have just a plain piece of bread to dip in my oil as as well as probably a little less of the salad dressing the salad is kind of drowning a little bit in that too but let me tell you about the chicken all right I'm from the south that's good chicken all right <laughs> you aced on the chicken all right, and the salad's great too. So, but <clears throat> a good job. Um, I will say that with the chickpeas, they, they do seem to be an afterthought, almost like you, you came up with this great dish and then, oh, we need to add chickpeas and just found a place to put them. Um, the, the bread is, it's really, really hard. I mean, it's, even though it's cut, it's really hard to pull. And, and so probably just having, you know, a fresh piece of bread. Um, you, did, you did the right thing by having the olive oil there for dipping. And then... Um, as uh, the other judge said, with the chicken, it's, it's very good. Uh, the fact that you came up with the breading yourself uh, is admirable. Uh, it's not easy to do. And so overall, it's a good dish. The chicken is delicious. And I just dipped my chicken in my olive oil to get that extra um, herbal flavor. And that was really good, really good. So uh, the same comments about the chickpeas. I wish that they were more of a central part of the dish. But they're great in the salad, and they really make a salad better and um, good and I like the croutons in the salad as you guys are the crispy croutons and the breading on the chicken was delicious so thank you. Thank you very much. Today's winner is the super stars with the curry chickpeas
I think chickpeas are a nice way to get protein in your diet without eating meat. I've never had them outside of our dish, but in our dish, uh, the chickpeas did taste very good. They were sort of squishy but proteiny. We were just Googling random recipes and we came upon this one and we decided that it would be a good one to cook because it was cheap and it was easy. At first, I didn't really know what we were actually making and stuff. And then when we started preparing it and when we got to try it, I really enjoyed it. Now we're making it for hundreds of students, so it's a lot harder and you have to make it in bigger quantities. This isn't really something that's served at school, so we're hoping that they'll like something that's different. I personally think that my classmates are going to love this dish. It's a lot of flavor, it's a lot of texture, but I think they're going to like it. My favorite part about today was that how we all worked together and how we had no problems and how everyone was all focused and not going around. We had sort of an assembly line going with the garlic. Someone was peeling and someone else was chopping. The onions made my eyes water a lot and it's very difficult to hold the knife without cutting your hands. The most challenging part for me was working with all the staff members and well how the chickpeas and other ingredients were put in. Today is different from when I cooked in the classroom. Uh, a, because I get to wear these awesome gloves. Uh, B, because we're making a much, much bigger batch. And C, because we have adults helping us. Uh, last time it was all just us. And um, we made a lot of mistakes that we've been prevented from making here. My favorite part of the day was getting to stir and open cans. So much teamwork. It was, and the atmosphere was great.